Just last year, CBS premiered CSI Vegas, an American criminal drama series. It is the fifth season in the CSI franchise and the follow-up to the long-running series CSI Crime Scene Investigation. Just like all the other installments of the popular CSI franchise, the Vegas series took off, with fans quickly becoming attached to the characters and the storyline. So much so that many fans started doing some digging and wanting further details about the cast members' real life. Stick around to find Find out everything you need to know about the cast of CSI Vegas and their real-life ages and relationships. First, we have William Peterson. William Lewis Peterson is an actor and producer from the United States. He's best known for his portrayal as Gil Grissom in the CBS drama series CSI Crime Scene Investigation from 2000 to 2015, for which he earned a Screen Actors Guild Award and was nominated for a Golden Globe Award. Additionally, as a producer of the show, he was nominated for three Primetime Emmy Awards. The actor is now 69 years old, but you wouldn't know it because he has aged extremely well. Despite his long history with the franchise, he was doubtful whether he would return to CSI Vegas for the upcoming installment, telling TV Insider that the character had been put to bed a long time ago. However, he finally agreed to join the team, and his fans were obviously overjoyed. In regards to his personal life, Georgia Fox plays his love interest in the CSI universe. But in real life, Peterson is married to Gina Cerrone, a former school teacher. According to various online reports, the couple married in Petronano, Italy, in a lovely wedding in 2003. Following the beautiful wedding ceremony, the couple went on a European honeymoon. The couple were also parents of two children. In July 2011, they welcomed twins via surrogate, according to various online reports. Next, we have Matthew Loria. Newbie Matthew Loria, a 39-year-old actor and musician from the United States. Loria made his debut as a series regular on the crime drama CSI Vegas in 2021. Matt Loria is best known for his performances in the TV shows Friday Night Lights, Parenthood, and Dickinson. He plays Josh Folsom on CSI Vegas, a character he describes as very intelligent and confident. Now to his private life. The actor admits that he enjoys spending time with his wife, Michelle Armstrong, when he's not on set. The couple's relationship began when they were both still teenagers at the age of 16 to be exact. In 2006, the pair finally tied the knot. They currently don't have any children together, but it's safe to assume that kids are definitely in the cards in the near future for the couple. The next cast member on our list is none other than Georgia Fox, a CSI original. It's difficult to envision the CSI gang reuniting without a key character, Sarah Seidel. Thankfully, we won't have to, because Georgia Fox returned to the Las Vegas crime lab for the part that earned her four SAG Award nominations and one win. Prior to her portrayal as Sarah Seidel, Fox was known for her roles as Dr. Maggie Doyle on NBC's ER and Gina Toscano on The West Wing. Additionally, Fox has starred in the sci-fi film 3022, starring Omar Epps and Kate Walsh, as well as the Amazon original movie The Map of Tiny Perfect Things, since the original CSI series ended. Currently, the actress is 53 years old, but just like her fellow co-star Peterson, she's aged very well, still looking the same as she did throughout her prime CSI days. Now, not much is known about her personal life at the moment, but we do have some intel on her love life over the years. An interesting fact about the actress that many fans may be unaware of is that she's actually a lesbian. The CSI actress has been in at least three known relationships as a proud lesbian. Her most recent known relationship was with actress Leela Foster. The pair began dating in 2014, but after a few years, they decided to call it quits. Georgia had previously been in a relationship with actress Sammy Reed, who she allegedly cheated on with Leela. Oh, the drama. However, it appears that she's now single in 2022, and she keeps her personal life very discreet. Next up is the famous Paul Guilfoyle, who we all recognize from the original CSI. Guilfoyle reprised his role as homicide detective Jim Brass on CSI Vegas. Although unlike the other original cast members, Guilfoyle had a scheduled two-episode 
evolved narrative. Fans were ecstatic to see him return regardless. Gilfoyle has appeared in a number of TV episodes since 2015, including A Million Little Things, in which he played Delilah's father, Star Trek Discovery, and The Morning Show. In 2016, he starred as Quayle in Colony and as Henry Rendell in the CBS all-access courtroom drama The Good Fight. In terms of his personal life, the actor is 72 years old right now. Gilfoyle lives in New York City with his wife, choreographer Lisa Giobi, and their daughter Snowden. According to his CBS bio page, his wife Lisa Giobi Movement Theater is the founder of her own artistic company, according to web sources. That's quite impressive. Now we have Mel Rodriguez. Cast member Mel Rodriguez is also a newcomer to the CSI franchise. The actor is most well known for his roles in the comedy The Last Man on Earth and Getting On, before taking on the role of Hugo Ramirez on CSI Vegas. As you can see, he has quite a few lead roles under his belt within Hollywood, making him the perfect addition for CSI Vegas. Now on to his personal life. It is reported that the actor is currently 48 years old and is married with children. Desiree Rodriguez is Rodriguez's wife. She's a photographer and dancer, according to her Instagram. According to various online reports, the couple was struggling to make ends meet until Rodriguez was cast on Getting On. Speaking about their hard times, the actor stated in a 2020 interview, My wife and I were close to homeless approximately approximately eight or nine years ago. Thankfully now, they're doing well, and they now have two beautiful children. Now, on to cast member Wallace Langham, who's yet another CSI Day One. Langham has kept busy after his initial stint as sarcastic lab technician David Hodges, playing Dr. Granger in the popular film Ford v. Ferrari, and Gordon Kaplan in the controversial Netflix documentary Operation Varsity Blues, The College Admission Scandal. Prior to CSI, the star had been in a number number of popular drama series, including Grey's Anatomy, Criminal Minds, The Boys, Mom, 911, and The Resident. A very impressive acting career, if you ask me. The CSI star decided to return to the Vegas installment to portray his iconic character, which fans were very happy about. But what about his personal life? Well, the actor is currently 57 years old and has been married three times. From 1986 to 1998, he was married to Laura Langham, with whom he had had two daughters, Chloe Langham and Alex Langham. Wallace married Carrie Richard in 2002, and their marriage lasted almost 10 years before they split in 2012. Wallace is married to Melissa Voyages, whom he married in 2015, and with whom he is still happily married. In addition to this, he's also had a few legal troubles in his personal life. In 2020, Langham reportedly beat up a gay tabloid reporter who had allegedly made accusations against Langham's girlfriend tattoos. The reporter later claimed that Langham yelled homophobic slurs at him while physically attacking him. Crazy, right? Langham pleaded no contest to battery charges and was sentenced to three years probation, 450 hours of community service, and a $10,000 donation to the Los Angeles Gay and Lesbian Center. Finally, prosecutors agreed to withdraw a hate crime prosecution against him in exchange for him pleading no contest. Following all of this craziness, Langham declared in a statement that he supports LGBT rights and he would never attack someone for their sexuality. Since this incident, Langham hasn't had any more run-ins with the law, but this attack came as a huge surprise for many of his dedicated fans. Last but certainly not least, another newcomer to the CSI series, Paula Newsom. The actress portrays Maxine Roby, a former basketball coach who is now the head of the Las Vegas crime lab. Newsom is most well known for playing Detective Moss in HBO's Barry, along with Carolina Charles from Chicago Med. She also had guest appearances on other popular CBS shows like Criminal Minds and NCIS. So you may have seen her before, especially if you are a crime drama series fan. The actress is currently 45 years old, but unfortunately, not much else is known about her personal life. We suspect she could be married. However, we cannot confirm this information. There you have it. Everything you need to know about the CSI Vegas cast 
and their real-life ages and life partners. If you've not yet watched this installment of the popular CSI series, then you are certainly missing out. Featuring so many of the originals, it felt almost nostalgic to watch. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Did we forget anyone? Have you watched CSI Vegas yet? What did you think? We want to hear it all! And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching!